Hey guys, so this is number 27 in the series. It's called Peace. It was given on 11, 21, 23. Let's get to it. Uh, be at peace. Be found seeking me and be at peace. The peace that surpasses all understanding is yours. Spread my peace. Be the peaceful soul in the chaos. I will draw souls to you. Help them find my peace. Tell them that Jesus was given as a sacrifice for sin and that he lived and died and was raised on the third day, that he conquered death and made a way to come to me, the one true God. Invite them to ask Jesus to lead their life. Invite them to be baptized and seal their soul in salvation. Bring the last home. Bring in the harvest of the humble. Never fear. All who do my work of sharing the gospel are given special protections in these last days. Nothing will be able to harm you. Share your hope of Jesus in the clouds. Bring the reason for your hope and peace. Your love for me and for Jesus. Allow more to be filled with joy and peace. Ring the bells. Sound the alarm. Broadcast my love. Be my witnesses. Tell who gives you your peace, provisions, and miracles. This is how to start the conversation. Then expect that they will want to hear the gospel. Those humbled will not be like those before who constantly rejected. They will crave your peace. They will crave to hear the gospel. Most will readily accept the grace and hope and be saved. Be bold. Be at peace. And the verse is Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. That's it. And I'll see you next time.